everybody we're back in the studio and we are going to paint a Halloween scene today and I've got some great colors now if you hear some background music um, I apologize that's my husband he is um, practicing the band practice so uh, please forgive me for that uh, there's no way I can muffle that um, so here are my colors for today I hope we can do this without them falling whoops guess I didn't okay so this is what we have we have Theo Violet and that is a an Academy Grumbacher we have titanium white which is also Academy and we have Mars black which is a Galleria color that I have we have cadmium yellow medium and you can get a deeper shade if you want, but this color is the one I want to use. And cobalt blue for today. And, of course, this is my palette, which is a wet, stay wet palette. It keeps it a little bit moist in my, my uh, sponge back there. It keeps the paint a little bit moister. And then various brushes that we'll be using so, throughout. And then the, what we're going to do with this is we're going to make it a little bit more fun. I'm going to put some ghosts in here. But the ghosts are going to be um, like black light. And they'll come through only in a black light. So they'll show through. Uh, so hopefully I uh, will enjoy this painting. And let's get started. Um, so the first... Uh, color I'm going to be using is the cobalt blue. I want to get that background in. We we are probably for these little things here, I'm going to use a paint pen. Uh, there's little scallops in here in the windows just to get those a little neater looking. Hopefully that'll work better. We'll see how that works. So um, let's start out with our cobalt blue. And I don't know if this one here is a little too thick. But what I'm going to do, if it is too thick, I'm going to use my glazing liquid because that will help with that. Yeah, this one here is kind of thick. So what I may do is just put a little glazing liquid in that so that it's a little smoother on, going on um, than, than we had. Because uh, it's a little, I've had that for a while, so I guess I need to get a new new uh, cobalt blue and I thought I did buy that but I guess I didn't so I'm gonna put a little glazing liquid on my palette as well and we're just gonna mix that with that so so that it kind of goes on a little smoother we've got quite a bit here that is going to be the cobalt blue and that's all the background that we're going to be using that in so let me get a nice little brush now um let's see I'm gonna use this one I don't know that. Yeah, this is a good one here. It's a short handled brush. It's, oh, that's a rake. I don't know how I get all these rake brushes and I can't even find them when I need them. This is a 3 8 inch flat. It's a soft brush. Um, I'm going to use that because I, I just want to be able to uh, get in certain areas. I'm going to start out with the close areas there. Add some of that glazing liquid to my paint just to kind of smooth it. Now I'm not doing a picture in picture anymore because my cameras just don't work together. When I'm editing, I have an issue with that. So uh, I'm just going to go around here, see if this brush is any good. And on this one, we probably want to get our edges. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that brush. It's not, it's too soft. I need something a little bit more firm so let's see I don't know how this one will be this seems like a nice one this is a 3 fourths inch flat let's see how this one works it's got a pretty handle and I might need some more of that glazing liquid into this it just helps to get that to go on a little smoother oh yeah this is nice this is good I think I got these brushes on sale somewhere. I have to go to get some art brushes. Um, I'm 
So you just want to be very careful going around the stars. Um, they're going to be in yellow. And we're probably going to have to put another coat on this because I, I, I don't like when I have to see the canvas coming through. And there's a lot of nooks and crannies in this painting. Lots of nooks and crannies. So, um, on Facebook, I asked a question about uh, what would you like to see me paint? And I've got quite a bit of great ideas. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, so that'll keep me busy for a while, I'm, I'm hoping, you know. Um, <clears throat> lots of good things to be coming up in the future. We're going to do a nativity scene that I think you'll like. Very easy. We're going to do some mountains. Um, got quite a bit of good stuff. So hopefully people will be watching. the drums. The drummer in this band is very loud. <laughs> so, not, you know, I've Yesterday, a couple things happened to me yesterday that kind of really stressed me out. So, I'm so glad to be painting today. As you can see, this is going to be a little tedious here. This is going to take the longest part of your painting time. And of course, I will have this on my website, and I hope that you, uh, the pattern I'll have on there, and I hope that you like and subscribe, maybe share my my stuff um, with your friends. <clears throat> I am almost getting there, close to a thousand people, and I just would hope to get that soon. That's my goal. Now, on these uh, smaller areas here, I would like to use a smaller brush, maybe a detail, or detail brush. Let's see. I'm going to use this little flat one that I have here. It's number two. And I'm going to go in with that. See if I can get around here. Because, see, I'm already going over this, these areas here. And uh, it is a little shaky. But we will be covering that in black, so it shouldn't be too bad, too bad for us. So in here, we'll just kind of twirl that around. But if I didn't have that glazing liquid on my, my paint, I wouldn't be able to move it around so easily. But as you can see, you can, if you can see this, I don't know if you can, but... Um, it's it needs a little help here uh, it's gonna have to have another coat because with the glazing liquid it kind of uh, makes it more see-through we want it to be a little thick thicker on the canvas a little darker
Okay, so this is going to take me some time. Then we're going to have to wait for this to dry a little bit and do another coat. Uh, <clears throat> and you want to take your time with this. You don't want to go real fast. Because you've got a lot of little details to go around. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, I hope that you guys are all doing well. Our temperature here has drastically changed from, like, summer to extreme cold. Um, the mountain area, Seven Springs, has had some snow. Uh, just a little light covering, but you know, it's amazing that uh, two weeks ago the temperatures were in the 80s and now we're freezing. So it, it just is weird how it happens. Just weird. Temperature changes all over. I thought we'd at least have an Indian summer. I don't know if we're going to have one. Halloween's about, you know, coming around the corner here. And, and uh, kids will be freezing. feel so good when I'm painting. I don't know. I'd love to hear your comments on when you're painting and how you feel when you're painting. Okay, if hopefully you I'm sorry if you hear all that. Uh I do apologize. But you'll get some music here that's uh coming through. Hopefully you enjoy it. I could probably close my door, but I don't even know that that will help. Let's see if I can close this if it'll kind of muffle some of that. My dog will be here. She can't go out now. Hopefully she'll be uh, okay with that. <laughs> I shut the door, Sally. I shut the door. Being very, very careful here. Very careful. This painting doesn't require a lot of colors. Now, only if you want to make the uh, glow in the dark colors, you'll have to, you know, decide if you want to do that or not. Uh, hopefully they still make glow paint. I, uh, I know I got some of these on uh, Amazon. So, you should be able to find them on Amazon. Very nice little brush here. It's called a buttercream. That's who makes it. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I got that at Joanne Fabrics, this little brush. But plus, it's very pretty. If you can see that, got little cute little things on it. And this is my Simply Simmons brush here, this little one that I'm getting into the little areas. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm putting my finger down. You can see I'm putting my pinky finger down onto the canvas just to go around this. Because I want to make sure I don't mess anything up. And it just helps me to uh, anchor 
anchor it. I used to paint in any all kinds of places. I mean, it was always fun. All fun. Cute, isn't it so far? I mean, this is going to be really cute. Once it's outlined, it's a little house. We got some bats in here. We got a cat on a... Oh, wow. That's a little bit loud, isn't it? Kind of loud. We got a big moon here. Right here is the moon. Now I'm probably going to be going over some of this, but hopefully it comes through that I can see, see it pretty well. This little crazy tree here, and you're pro you're definitely going to need a little smaller brush to get into some of these areas because of the way that the tree is and the stars. I mean, you can only do so much with a bigger brush. You know. Anchoring my finger again. And you definitely want to wait until this blue dries before you put your stars in because you don't want to have green stars. New green stars. Yeah, it's starting to come along here. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to do another coat and we'll be back uh, to do the other parts. See you soon. Okay, so you can see that I've got the background in. Uh, so we've got that all in now. And uh, what we're going to do is go to our moon. And I'm going to use my very deep uh, CAD yellow, basics CAD yellow, and my titanium white. So we're going to put some of that out onto the canvas here. And 
I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so I've got I've got that yellow and the white. So what I'm going to do is I am going to now mix up, and I'm going to use my um, number eight uh, bristle brush. You can see that. Okay, and we're going to do the moon. We're going to color in the moon. So I am going to use, uh, I think, two parts of my titanium white and a part of my yellow. So we're just going to get a nice, nice pale yellow. You can see me mixing that. Okay. And we're just going to paint the moon. Get that moon in there. Uh, you know, you're going to see the actual, um, I, I have these little uh, bats in here too. So we're going to be able to see those. I'm just holding my brush back from the uh, furrow of the brush. Oh, this is going to get a little messy here because of the drawing part, but that's all right. I just want to be able to see my bats. Now, because I want this to glow, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. I'm going to actually put my, some of my glow paint on here as well. Because I want the, the moon to glow a little bit. Now I'm going to get a smaller brush. I have this little, um, it's a four chisel. It's a creative mark brush. You can see that. I don't know. There you go. I'm going to do the stars too because I want those stars. Uh, actually, I want to make sure those stars are glowing as well. So I'm going to get those stars in. I'm going to just use a smaller brush because I want to make sure I get into those areas real well here. Just being very careful, taking my time. This is because I'm, I'm very close to the tip of my brush here because I do, I'm actually kind of drawing these in. <clears throat> making sure I get all the color in there. Hopefully you can see me without my uh, head being in the way too much. See what I'm doing. Okay, that one just got out of hand there a little bit. So I'm going to get my number two and just go into my blue again and edge that edge it a little bit there we go you can't really put a whole lot of paint on this little teeny brush And I am going to get my little tiny number two again. I'm going into my cobalt blue and just kind of like edge this a little. Make it more like star, a star. There we go. Sometimes, you know, like the paint gets a little messed up and you have to kind of go over it somewhat. There we go. Okay. 
and I wanted to do this because I don't want anything turning green with the blue. We can make some of these actually um, glow also. Probably would look really cool. Some stars are bigger than others. Kind of look a little goofy sometimes, you know, up in the sky. So it's just the way that they shine. It was really chilly this morning. Had some frost on the uh, outside there. Lots of frost. I don't know. I guess I guess we're just going right into winter. We're not going to really have much of a fall. I just hope that for the kids that it's a decent day for Halloween. I hate to see them freezing out there. All right. Now I'm going to go into my glow paint and this is the paint that I have. It's a yellow. It's bright yellow, but I think it's um, fluoro yellow. It's called. It's Derivan. And this is supposed to glow, so hopefully it will glow when I hit, the, hit it with the dark light. We'll make some of our stars like that. And I'm just putting that off to the side because I don't want to get it mess, mixed up with my other yellow. And I'm going to clean off my brush. That was that bristle brush that I have. Make sure it's clean. And I'm going to go into that yellow. It's sort of like a yellow green. It's kind of weird looking. But at least this way I can see see that I've got everything painted. This will be nice and bright. Always neat to have a little glow in your painting. It just makes it a little different, you know. Now when I put the black on, it shouldn't uh, come through there, but one never knows what's going to happen there. How it'll react. But it shouldn't glow once you paint over another color. Okay, and get my number two, Simply Simmons. I want to go um, into my cobalt blue and just outline this a little bit better. All right. Make sure it's nice and neat. Make sure it's very neat. Okay. All right, so I can see a little bit where I missed. I'm going to go back with my yellow again. My I missed right here, and I know that that'll show up as a streak, so we don't want that. Make sure this is all covered up good with my yellow glow paint. All right. Now I'm going to go into my stores, some of my stores there with my little brush. Clean that off. That's my, uh, it's a number four creative mark. Very nice little brush for these little details. I'm just going to do a few stars. Um, just get a couple of these done with some glow. don't need all of them. Just a few. 
Let's get this one over here too. And let's see. How about um, this one? And how about this one? Just a few. <clears throat> when I rinse that out, I'm going to come back and put a little bit of this blue back in here <clears throat> where I kind of went out of the line a little bit. Just give that a little too. Let's see here. Okay. And up here, I kind of messed that up a little. I have to put a couple little coats on this one. Definitely, definitely have to put some coats on that. I don't want that to come through. Okay. And I think I'm going to put some right in here too. Make that a little bit. Okay. Right. Okay, looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my purple, and I'm going to do these roof parts here. So I am using uh, Theo Violet. It's an Academy Grumbacher, and we're going to do the roofs if I can open it. Yes, there we go. I'm having fun with this one. <clears throat> this is looking real cute. I think this is going to be really cute once it's finished up. Okay, so um, I'm going to use the, this brush here. I'll show you the just cleaning it up here. Okay, so that this brush is a number six Winsor Newton. It's a University Bright. Um, I just got this brush and it's pretty nice. It goes, it covers pretty well. Plus the um, edges get done really nice. So that is what we want the edges to be good. And you'll be able to see through where we're going to put our shingles. Take your time. Everything has to be done slowly and carefully because you don't want to go out of the lines. Corners are always tough. Corners are probably the hardest part of painting. Hoping you can see what I'm doing. I'll probably make this come forward a little bit so that you can see it whenever I'm editing it. So I turned this sideways so that I could get this a little bit better. I want to make sure that I get my edge correct. This is a very nice brush. It's very firm. 
Oops, that kind of went into the blue, which I may have to fix that. So I'm going to go into my, let's see, I'm going to go into my number two flat and uh, go into that blue, kind of just... here there we go okay I'm gonna go over this again there we go all right and we'll, I kind of turn my brush this way instead of this way when I'm getting the edges just to make a nice sharp point okay. now here I'm using it flat but on that edge I want to get really close here, so I am going to turn my brush like instead of I'm going like this instead of this, okay? And then I'm going flat in, into here, into the interior of the roof. All right, so we're going to do this part here. And anything that you do, it's the way you feel more comfortable when you're painting. I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily the way I do it, but I'm just giving you little hints um, on the way I do things. And that hopefully can help you decide what you like better. Okay, I'm going to turn it again so I can just get this. Nice and neat. Flatten it a little bit. There we go. Come down straight. Okay, we probably will put another coat on there just to be safe because sometimes with these transparent colors you see too much, see through too much, you know. So we'll want to do that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do are the windows. Uh, I want to get those in. And I am going to use, first I'm going to start out, let's see, I'm going to use that brush that I just used. So I have to really make sure that's clean. I really like this brush. Make sure all that pink is out of there because we don't want pink in the um, in the uh, windows. Okay, I think I have that all out of there. Um, now these are going to be kind of shaded. I had some um, cranberry juice, 
So we're going to start out with just our pure yellow, cad yellow. And we're going to go halfway down on these windows, just halfway down, like that. Like that. And then we're going to go into our lighter yellow. And we're going to come up to it. Blend it. Gonna go down again, just darken it up. There we go. All right, same with this window right here. Do the same thing. We're gonna come down. Halfway, over here also. probably make a couple coats on this as well because some of that um, I don't like the way that's looking all right so here this is shadows of the windows so we're gonna come up halfway with this as well That's okay if you go out of the lines on this one because we're going to be using black after. I'm going to rinse that out. And I'm going to wipe some of this off because <clears throat> I know where the um, black is. But I need to move some of this off of here because it's just showing through. And I just want to wipe it off a little. And it's not going to come off too good, is it? Wow. We're going to have, um, yeah, that's like even worse now. Okay, well, we'll just go into our white, our light yellow, and then we're just going to come on down with it. Because sometimes the white helps to cover up a little bit. It's more opaque. I want to cover that ghost up because I need to have that transparent. Okay, we're going to come down here. We're going to blend that a little bit better too. We want to make sure it's blended. we go so blend it a little bit and when you blend you're just going very lightly very lightly to blend it okay and then this one over here is just gonna be the door but I'm gonna make that a little darker right here if you can see that one right here okay And we might as well do the door as well. Might as well just do that. Make that dark. Same thing is going on here. Halfway down. Halfway down. And that ghost is in there. And then go into the light. The lighter yellow. Very cool, very cool. Okay, all right. So let's go back into the um, vibrant again. Let's get that done again. 
put another coat on there. And get that darker. thing I like about this painting is you don't really need a lot of paint to do it. It's just three or four colors. Well, maybe five. Let's see that. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Four. Four four colors. Four values. Four shades. Alright, right here. This little tip here I don't care for, so I'm gonna get that out of there. There we go. Come a little closer here to the house. It's a little weird looking house, but that's the way it is. Okay, right in here, I'm going to paint that yellow, and that's just going to be a real dark shade of yellow. Uh, I have a little owl in there. He's just going to be a little hoot. Um, get a little get a little white mixed in there. Just a little hoot owl. He's going to basically be black because everything's dark. It's night. Everything's dark. Okay. Excellent. Alright, so uh, let's go on and we're going to use the Mars Black now and color all these things in. Uh, get our B Mars Black. Um, which is, I'm using the Galleria Mars Black. I use, I use a bigger one of these because I use a lot of it. So I'm just putting that right out onto the palette. Rinsing out some of my brushes here. And... I am going to use my bristle brush again, number eight, and start painting some of this in. Now, because my Mars brush is a little bit of a, it's a little bit. I mean, my um, brush here, my bristle brush, some of the uh, bristles on it are sticking out. So I'm not sure if I can get real close, but I'm going to try to get close here without having those bristles go out. There we go. I just move back and forth on my palette. it decent. I hope you're enjoying this painting. I'm having fun doing it. It's always fun to do a Halloween painting. Always cute, always neat. Interesting. Very interesting work. Okay, we're going to go over here. <gasps> Oops. See this? A little bit hard to get into some of this without messing it up. So that's where I'm going to need my little brush. That's 
that's my Simply Simmons number or two. just kind of brushing that in. I don't want a straight line on that. It's kind of just like a shadowy kind of thing. Just gonna kind of fluff it in there, just like that. Just shadow it in there, shadow it. Okay. We'll get around this one. Now you might have to put another coat on top of this as well because sometimes the brush bristles will show and you don't want that. So I'm going to get these sides here. Excuse my head. It's in there and I know it. But I just wanted to get the sides. into my smaller brush. Get in here. Okay. So I'm going to outline some of the, oops, that's a little too much paint. Outline this here. much paint. A little too much paint. here. This is 
going pretty good. I think it's looking cute. If you have any questions, please be um, sure that you, I mean, I just want you to be sure that you can write me. You can post it here um, in, in inquiries. I love to help you. Want you to be good at this. These are just little things that are easy to do. Um, it's not a difficult painting. This is how you get started. Now I have some other ones that are kind of difficult, so you know you want to like try to get to the ones that aren't so hard. And that's what we're doing here. We're just painting the easier ones. So that you, uh, if you're starting out, you want to be able to do this without too much hardship and upset. And this is a good one to have as a paint party if you want to have one in your home. Uh, you can all sit around the video and just stop it here and there whenever um, you need to. back and forth on my palette get a nice point when you go back and forth like this you just go back and forth kind of just go back and forth make a point on the tip there you see that that's what you want to do so that you can get around these little areas without the bristles getting in the way Now we're coming to the fun part, the tree. The tree, where we got all these cute little things going on. I'm going to introduce a round brush once I get most of this filled in. So we can do the edges. Okay, going back to my number two, I'm going to use a little bit of my uh, glazing liquid here just to get this flowing better. So we can make a nice sharp edge. Want to make it a sharp edge so that you don't see any white in the canvas like in here. And that just kind of helps to make it flow better. That glazing liquid, as I said before, it's really helpful. Makes a nice sharp edge. Some more of that glazing liquid into my black. Now I'm going to use some of this brush here. I, I'd like to use a round brush though when I'm getting into that other area. So let's see here. What kind of... Here we go. Here's a nice one. Okay, this is a number four creative mark. I'm going to go into my black my glazing liquid. I'm going to pick up some of that glazing liquid. 
bring that to a nice head here. I'm going to start in here. And I'm just going to go around with that brush. Get some more of the paint. Just curl it in. Make sure you have something wet on this brush so that you can do that. Get those little curls in. I'm going to switch here to my number two flat. I have my glazing liquid in here on this. I'm just going to meet up where that nice curl was. Get through some of that white spot oops down on my fingers back into my black just come around again okay now right here I kind of goofed there so I'm gonna get some of my black on my I mean my blue it's drying up pretty good here my blue find some of that and just here right there okay all right so we got that part all right so here we're going to go back into the black and I'm putting my little pinky down coming around with my round Good. Let's get this one. Round brush. Got my little pinky down on the canvas. All right. Just going to come on down here. And I can get my other brush and just kind of like come through here like that. And I am going to go into my cobalt blue again because there's some spots there and I have to put a little bit more out because it's all dried up. A little bit more on the palette. I'm gonna use my new brush, my red handle brush here. Go right here. drier so I'm just gonna work that out a little bit okay and in here I want that to be it kind of went out of the line there so once that dries a little bit I'll just go back and get it all right so Let's go back with this one because these are all details, so you have to be very, very good at this. Very 
very carefully. I'm not very good at it, but you have to be very cautious. Very cautious on this. So if you use that number two flat, you can get really close here. Where it's a little wider. You go to your round brush, making sure that's round when you do this. Come around here, maybe get a little bit more glazing liquid so you got a little bit wetter. And just come around, do it very carefully, very carefully. Paint can get very dry, very dry. Get some more of that glazing liquid, work it into my paint. You can also use water if you want. Just don't use a lot of it. All right. Trying to get some of that white part of the canvas off of there. Okay. All right, so we're going to go to this one now. Awesome, awesome, I love it. I love it. I'd like to make another curl up this way because I just think it needs one. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add one to this and this is something you can do or you can just leave it alone. Very simple. There we go. Sometimes it's easier to just do it as you feel. Just little, little curls here and there. Okay. Make it your own. If you feel it, do it. can never put too many curls on a tree. Out a bit. 
Yes, this is definitely looking good. this uh, number two flat get a little bit more of that glazing liquid into my black just helps to get really close here Run up all those white spots there. that this one I can just probably use this brush I think get some of that glazing liquid make it easy to work on might want to use your round brush here because you want to get it nice and close. That's fine. Okay, let's get the rest of this. Sounds like somebody's getting their grass cut. I don't know how you could get grass cut in this weather, but I guess it's one of the final. final uh, I don't know who that is. I ain't gonna answer the door. No, I must have got a package. Must have got a package. Through the door when I'm by myself. Not that I live in a bad neighborhood, believe me, I don't, but it's just scary sometimes. Yay, especially with older people. You just can never tell what's happening with things. I just love this. This is coming along so nicely. I have to give accolades to Deco Art because it's one of their designs, but I kind of just elaborated on it a little bit. Um, did my own thing with it. I'm doing my own thing with it. I'm not exactly following their instruction because it just kind of gives me an idea and I like that because it kind of gives me that idea and then I can go from it you know just enjoy myself and do my own thing do my own kind of thing all right so I got a couple little things I think I want to put a couple little extras on here I go into my black again, add a couple little things coming out here, 
maybe just around this little star right there using my little brush just using the little brush maybe one right here feel it my little round brush okay um maybe get one right here right in here just go that away too just like that one kind of give it its own little Another one like that. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, now I'm going to go into some of my blue again. Actually, I'm going to use this brush here because it's nice and small. And I'm going to go right into that blue. And uh, right here. Fill in some of the spots that are white. into the blue all right now let's do the little outlets in here I want to get that in there um, just get him in there make him black but we'll highlight him a little bit I just want just a little bit give them a little white huh. like how people just use our driveway I'm going to use some of my white, give them some white eyes here. Let it dry a little bit and then I'll put some other little things in there. Okay, so the next part we want to get some of this done here. So I'm going to use that uh, number six. into my black do my edge here my edge get that nicely done very carefully on my edge here very carefully Carefully do the edges. Go into my number four, or number two, I'm sorry, number two. And just get in here a little bit better. finger down and just come right down here like that hold my finger down and I'm gonna do the same thing over here and down because it's such a small space here I 
see some other spots I need to get too, but I wanted to put this blue in first here. Okay. All right, so I got to get some of these spots that I see right here. I don't know how that happened. Jeez. because it's a ghost picture and some of the ghosts are just acting a little crazy today in my painting kind of looks like they screwed up my windows did a number on my windows here we got to do the tombstones all right I'm going to use that number six go in here with that in here because I could see some light here. Doesn't, I don't want that. don't want that light. I want this to be pure dark. All right. So you see what I'm doing? I'm coming up and I'm twisting my brush, twisting it to come down, just twisting it. Okay, same here. Just gonna come up and twist it. Let me get the side that has the paint on it. Twist it. Twist it. Come down. There we go. Tombstones. Tombstones. All right. So let's get our little brush there and put a rest in peace on this one and let's cross on the other. So here I'm going to put a little cross right here. using that round brush there we go I'm gonna go into some of my white and make like a gray and just write RIP there all right so now we want to get the little arrow things in and I can still see some of my arrows so one's right here okay using that uh, round brush I think I have one right here down this one comes down okay 
Okay. You have to be very careful doing this. Very careful. Make sure you twist that brush so you have a nice point. I guess I have paint on my finger here and it's getting all over the picture. Let me get that. Let's see if I can get that off. Just a little water. And then dab it. Dab it up. Okay. All right. Get a little bit more of my glazing liquid because I need to get that a little smoother in here. A little bit smoother. Nice point. have some of those on the top also. Let's see if I can, oh yeah, I can see them. I'm not exactly sure what these are here. Other than little decorations onto the house here. here. Comes down here. Okay. We still got to get our bats in here too. Some of the bats started. I'm going to just use that round brush again. Okay. Can you see me what I'm doing? Okay. Just tapping it in a little bit. Glazing liquid for this one.
This one's a banging. This bat. Okay. I think we're almost getting there. Okay, I want to uh, go into my white. Well, actually, this gray. I'm going to make some more gray. I'm going to put some highlight on this little baby here. So we know that it's a uh, little feathery here. Okay. Little glow. Okay. Now I noticed here too, I want to get some more of that yellow. some of this on. So that it glows. Alright, and um, let's see here. Get some of uh, that lighter yellow. Alright, so the final step, uh, and then before we do any um, of the ghosts, uh, I bought a Sharpie pen, and we are going to do the windows. I can open this. We're going to do the windows, and we're going to um, do those shingles on that door. I'm hoping that this gives me a decent point. And then our final step on this will be the um, ghosts that we're going to put in. So hopefully this will work the way I want it to work. <laughs> so shake those things up. Then I also want to put some uh, fencing in here. So I'm going to do that too with this. Hope that it gives me what I'm needing for that. It comes out. It's starting to come down now. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's coming through. Okay. All right, so let's do the, well, let's start up here. We're going to do these first. Just makes a nice line. Sometimes it's just hard to paint all those lines in there. And you get it nice and thin, and this is paint. It is actually, you can go... You can oil paint over acrylic, but you cannot acrylic over oils. So, this is what this does. It's just, and I'm starting from the top because I don't want to smear anything. And I'm getting a nice, nice edge. I got my Sharpie at Packaging. Oh, look at that. See what happens? Now I got that on there. <laughs> Not good. Not a good thing. Here, let's see if I can get that off of there. Still wet. Okay, yeah, we got it. Pretty good here. 
<sighs> yeah, sometimes this happens. You have to be very careful. Very careful what you're doing. My hands stick to everything. It's just the way my hands are. I swear. I keep my hands up. Making those a little bit more solid so you can see them. Oops. All right, and this will dry fast. It dries fast. But you just don't want to, you want to be sure you don't touch it because you don't want to goof it up, you know. Take your time. Sometimes it's a little hard going over the uh, canvas. Get this window now. This one. All right. Oh, this is darling, darling. Now I'm going to go over and get my white um, glow paint. Now, this is uh, white. It's called FX. I got this on Amazon. So hopefully this will do what I'm asked, wanting it to do. I am going to get a very small, let's see. I want to use my little round brush that I had here. I'm going to make sure it's clean. Okay. All right, so we have a ghost right here. We're going to see if we can get that painted right inside this door. And I have eyes on this, so I don't want to paint the eyes because that is part that I don't want it to glow. And I have one that's right in here. It's just a little head. Little head. Little glow. Also I had one up here. But I'm just going to make that just a whole head there. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this RIP. I'm going to glow that up also. OK, 
Okay. Um, I have a ghost in here somewhere. So maybe I had it flying. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just put it right over here instead. Well, that's going to glow with that. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Uh, how about we put one up at the top here? One right up in here. It'll be glowing. It'll be floating. And it'll just go right over this. Okay, I think we have it done. Uh, let's just use a black light, see what happens, if I have to put anything on top of it or not. I have a black light, and I've used this before, but I don't think I have it plugged in right now, so let's see if I can get it plugged into something. And I'm going to shut my lights off. Shut my lights off. Oh, goodness sake. Put this on and see if it'll go on. Okay. It's on. Let's see what happens here. If it shows up or not. Because my paint is kind of old. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, the stars shine up, the moon shines up. That's the only thing I don't like about that paint is that you can see the lines. Um, let's see, since we got that. Let's see if I can paint it a little bit better than this. Get more of that out. It does glow though, doesn't it? Kind of neat. Very neat. All right, let's see here if we can do this a little bit better here. Be careful about the bats. Really get it close to the house here. Oh, I know what we have to put in too is this fence over here. So, oh boy, this is going to be tough here now that I got all this in. Just have it go this way. Oh boy. Get it here, 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 here. I missed it right up in here, too. Wow. Smooth it in here. That's the only thing about glow paint is the, the fact that you can't see it until you put the light on it. But it's fun. It's just something fun. Let's see. Oh yeah, that goes to shiny too. A little bit.
that's a little bit better. And I might just end up painting over this with the yellow because I really don't like the way it's coming through, but that's something I'll think about here. Because of the way it goes on, I just don't like that. It's not a smoothness. Not smooth. Anyways, I gotta get that uh, fence on. So let me put the light back on again. I gotta get the fence back on there. And I want a cat sitting on the fence. So uh, let's see. Here, I'll get my pen, shake it up a bit. Shake it, shake it. All right. So I got these that come up. fence goes here all right and I had my little cat sitting right here so I'm gonna just put the little cat right here color it in little head here little head ears and we got a little tail here okay now wait till that dries a little bit and I'm gonna go into my white well actually my gray get some gray here a little gray kind of just highlight these the moon is so huge you need to have a little bit of highlight put a little couple little paws here couple little eyes shine up his tail all right I think that calls it then that should be the end of that I hope you enjoyed this little painting with me I had a lot of fun doing it um, like I said, I might uh, paint right over that because I'm not real happy with the way that looks. But at least we got the gist of what this should look like. And I will have the uh, drawing up on uh, my, my website at uh, marydunpittsburghartist.com. And that way you can trace it. Well, it's actually the PAS traceable. So uh, that's in the information section down here. So until next time, happy painting and we'll see you again. Bye.